All right, guys. Well, today is the day that this bad boy is going to get taken over to Forest River in Indiana, guys. And I'm going to bring you along. I know a lot of folks out there probably have issues with their rig and repairs and manufacturer. So I'm going to let you see how my process goes. And I'm going to vlog it all throughout. And then we're going to go check out the Brinkley factory. Keep watching. So here's the update guys we are near pittsburgh all right so we're about an hour away from our overnight stay we're actually staying at a holiday inn express in newcastle so that's almost like the midway point from richmond to middlebury pretty nice gas station here number of uh, places to get some food and drinks I'm debating on getting some Starbucks. I think I will hold off for some real food. Like I said, we're only about an hour away, so I'll pick up something later. CNG. CNG and diesel, just like I thought. Really, really think long and hard when you're buying a truck for towing an RV, because if that is the case, I highly recommend diesel. But anyway, I really like gas stations that are right off the highway. I wish they had more of these in Virginia. As you can see, you just get right off the highway, get your gas, and then jump right back on the highway right here. I only see these in the Northeast, like around Jersey, New York area, and uh, yeah, and here. I've never seen it throughout Virginia or even all, all our travels throughout the East Coast. So we made it to our last pit stop, Chipotle, my favorite fast food spot. Chipotle's typically have really small parking lots, so we found this little closed bank, Fidelity Bank parking lot that's empty. And then we're just gonna walk up the hill over to Chipotle. It's smelling good though, already. So yeah, this is a, our parking setup while we go eat. So if you want a healthy fast food spot, this is where you want to go, right here, guys. This Pittsburgh Chipotle is the worst Chipotle I've ever been to. That place was too dirty to even eat, eat at. Yeah, it was dirty up in there. Hello? Hey. Hey, y'all make it? No, we stopped at Chipotle. We're, not, we're about... Like, well, less than an hour. Like three minutes, I think it's it. The worst, nice. the worst Chipotle I've ever been to. <laughs> now it's pretty bad. <laughs> it was so dirty that we had to leave to eat. Ew. All the tables were dirty. They didn't even have any Coke. <laughs> they had like three different Coke Coke things that weren't were, were you know spitting out water. Ew. The beans look real sloppy. It just looked like water. Like I just hope this food is cooked properly. Yeah, you're, you're making me want to throw up right now. Yeah, no salad dressing. Am I like food, food is dry? Oh my god! It don't taste that bad though, but something off with it. <laughs> well, you know what? You picked this place, so you deserve. <laughs> it was the closest one that made sense. Yeah, mine ain't that bad. They cooked the brown rice properly here, but that one, 
it, it just don't even look well cooked. <laughs> you know, unfortunately for you. I didn't really map out the parking lot, but I think we should be able to park somewhere. Hopefully, uh, I'll have to let them know so we won't get towed. Well, hopefully, they can maybe somebody cancels and they can give us a uh, double bed. Because the way you farting, I don't want to sleep in the same bed with you. Hell yeah, it's dead. You're going to be funky. See if I can find a spot back here. Uh, yeah, in the back corner here, I guess. All right, need to pay attention. I'm about to hit curbs. Okay, should be good right here. I'll let them know that we're taking up about 15 lanes in the back. We should be good right there. Yeah. little hangout area here they got coffee you know what let me i'll come back down and get some coffee dang we could work out in here it's actually a big space okay this will do for the night oh yeah you can sleep over there bro look at this this is plenty oh is that a bug no it's just a uh squash bug i'll get it not too shabby holiday Inn express usually doesn't disappoint pretty minimalist they could have put a little art on the wall though kind of walls are kind of big <laughs> but uh whatever this will do oh we got a fridge decent bathroom i like the little light right there yeah yeah that's good for the name oh look at the shower Nice. Dang. This thing is like a vault door. I'm off to get some coffee before it gets too late. And uh, I wanted to check out a few things. I want to check out the fitness center. Maybe even take a look at the pool. Pretty cool lights in the hallway. Another thing that's cool about this hotel is that the breakfast. Every day breakfast is included and they start really early and you can load up on food. Before you get to your destination you don't have to worry about really lunch right basically that's how we do it nice you know what i need to get my 10k y'all i'm a little you were just slacking right now let's do that let's get the 10k first and then the coffee Got about 5K more to go. Speed us up. I wish I could stay in my rig, but it's so leaky. And I can't rely on that thing. How sad is it that I gotta stay in the hotel when I got my RV right here with me? Just so I don't get wet and mold toxicity. It's a damn shame, Forest River. I hope y'all get it straight. Because if y'all don't, there's gonna be problems. I'm not gonna meet my goal today, guys. I'm not gonna beat myself over it. You know, I just drove seven hours and uh, yeah. whatever. I'm on the road, right? But um, let's check out the pool area. Not too shabby. By the way, you can get a military discount here and 
Yeah, you can save above low, guys. All right, let's see what they're working on. They got drinks. They got TV, dinner. Oh, and we could use some of this here. They got snacks. Nothing healthy, though. All right, so I got a few essentials here. It is what it is. Not RV life. to start this game. Denver has to be ready to hold the fort. So, uh, it's hard sleeping in a foreign place with, when you don't have your pillow and <laughs> good toilet paper. So I wanted to share with you guys uh, my Hilton Holiday Inn Express bill because it was 120 and obviously we got a bunch of snacks last night for the game. So it was $98 plus about $10 in taxes, so around 110 So it's not bad for this decent resort. And all you military guys out there, I know there's quite a few of you that I've met uh, throughout the campgrounds. Always ask for that military discount because it always comes through in a clutch. So this room was supposed to be 165 But anyway, we're off to Middlebury. And I'm probably going to stay at another Holiday Inn Express in Middlebury. And I'm going to get my steps in today. I know I failed yesterday, but that ain't happening today. I'm going to get it done. Anyway, let's go. Machines or whatever, uh, whatever self checkout here. Uh, Get your ticket here. Insert card or pay cash. Processing. Please wait. All right, that was 17 bucks. I hope don't close on me. Hope this gate doesn't close on me. Okay. So 39 plus 17. What's that? Uh, 39, 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56 dollars. Gore Motor Coach. They're everywhere, these manufacturers out here. We made it to our last stop, I guess. Well, no, we have one more stop. Oh, okay, that's not gonna be nice. Take that easy with the RV. That was a big divot. This will be our humble abode for the night. We'll be dropping her off tomorrow. Looks like there's a little lake over there across the street I want to check out too. So uh, this parking lot is kind of small. So I'm just trying to um, park somewhere on the side here so I can stay out of the way. Maybe they'll be okay with that. on our way to go get some grub at Walmart but I wanted to walk over to this park across the street from the Holiday Inn but it looks like a pretty cool pond it's a public little place this is called Fiddler Pond that's pretty it looks like a blue it looks blue like blue water right this is way more interesting than walking around on a treadmill nice pond I always find nature or nature always finds me I wonder how long that trail goes Change of plans. I'm gonna get my steps in while it's nice out here. Juwan's gonna sit down and wait for me. I'm just gonna walk around the pond. They said it's a mile and a half walk. Neatly groomed. Now I'm mad I didn't bring my drone. I probably could have flew my drone over here and got some nice shots. Wow. Did y'all see that? That pelican just pooped like a mountain of poo. But anyway, enough talking. Let's do some B-roll action. So 
So I'm back at the hotel. I just finished eating dinner. A little Turkey Calais Subway sandwich. It's been a while since I had Subway. It's pretty good. It's $13 though. I was like, whoa. So I am out here to gather some video for our records so that I can make sure that everything is fixed once it's done. Um, I don't know how that process is gonna work. I will keep you guys updated on that. I think whoever watches our channel knows pretty much what we're dealing with, but I'll give you a quick peek of what I'm talking about here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. See the dark areas there? That is some kind of a mold growth going on. That has to be rectified. In each of our closets, we have these like dark areas that look like mold or water, some kind of water damage. Here is my closet. It's even worse in here. So water's getting in here. All of that needs to be rectified. This floor that was never repaired. It was ripped by the slide. And this, this never came with a strainer, guys. I don't know if I ever talked about that. And everything that you put in there is gonna fall into the P trap. If you drop an, you know, some piece of jewelry or something, which the girls are always putting on in here, and I will have to like dismantle the whole P trap. So that's another issue we need to figure out. And this thing, I have to replace the fuse on every camping trip, and I don't know why. Just that fuse always goes out. And it'll be this light, and it'll be the light underneath the couch area every camping trip so annoying yeah so tomorrow i'll clean all this stuff out still got a few things to gather i will keep you posted so yet again after another restless night sleeping in a hotel i hate sleeping in hotels i found this pancake maker which is really cool guys i wish i could get one of these in the rv anyway i grabbed my receipt and once again don't forget to ask for a military discount if you're a vet it comes through in the clutch so my son and I decided to go inside and finally empty out the rest of our personal items out of the RV, which uh, we kind of left in there and forgot about uh, before we left and packed that all up and headed over to the factory. But on the way to the factory, we saw all these Amish horse and carriages. I mean, they were everywhere. They were even stopping traffic. It was a crazy sight to see. Uh, you felt like you went back in time from a time machine. But anyway, we eventually made it to Middlebury, just a few minutes up the road. We made it to Forest River Coachman Recreational Vehicles. Yeah, that's crazy. Where can I park? Yeah, no clue. Just see this park here. Open it off for repairs. Okay, you know where you're going? Where it says, I don't know if it's 220 or 155 building. Okay, okay. So you take your first right, you go down about a half mile and turn your left. Okay. It's a big ass building. Okay. Uh, yep. <laughs> Thanks. This is RV Central, y'all. Uh, at least for Coachman. Coachman Drive. Look at all the little camper vans. Class C's. This is where we belong here. Yeah, these, these look exactly like. Just give me one of these, you know. These are the ones. I mean, that's so weird. Well, they all look different. Oh, yeah, they look like a lot of some type of different. These look the same though. They look very familiar. <laughs> we just dropped off Leaky Linda. But anyway, I spoke to the uh, coachman folks and they said that basically they're going to take the cap off and figure out what's going on with the leak. They're going to replace the window and anything that has water damage from the leak. So we'll see. Hopefully uh, they can figure out this, is this issue. And they're going to do some kind of a water test when, they, ask about that when they dump hundreds of gallons of water on there. So we'll see. Hopefully we could change Leaky Linda's name when she's returned. Now we're off to see if we can get in earlier to the Brinkley Manufacturing Building. We made it to the Brinkley spot. Maybe they can get us in early. This is too cool. We out here. Look at the building. That's probably the front. I think so. 
God, so I was just able to tour this thing. But I'm gonna do a legit video on this all by itself. But um, this, is, this thing is next level. Um, this is definitely on my wish list. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to get a new truck for this one though. I think it's over 20,000 pounds. So, woo, definitely on a wish list, guys. Maya's gonna love this. I'm gonna send you out on this B-roll segment now, just so that you can get a little glimpse of what's to come.